We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another vintage collection figure for you today. It is VC269, the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. Oh uh, yeah, much like the uh, Velsartha figure that I reviewed recently, that I decided to uh, just, just nag this one up. Um, again, got it for a clearance price, so I was pretty happy about that. It doesn't happen very often. Um, and yeah, still not super happy with the helmet, but the rest of the figure looks pretty good. Um, I may... Should I just do something with that visor? But we'll have a close look at the figure. I have heard good things about the clone, so I thought I'll give it a shot. You know, it's it's cheap enough. It's uh, it's a strange one to release on the Andor card, but it, it is what it is. They, they did appear there, so... Other figures there on the back. Uh, Cassian at the top there is the only one I don't have. The rest I have reviewed. Obviously the clone there. Star Killer I would have done quite a few years ago, and Velsartha just dropped uh, yesterday at this point. So yeah, I'm excited to add, this one's going to go on the Revenge of the Sith shelf, um, with some of the other sort of plain, plain clones from different figure lines over the years, but we're going to bust this one open and take a look and see how it compares. Alrighty, here is the Phase 2 Clone Trooper, based on the appearance in Andor, but arguably, you know, just a nice opportunity to release a shiny phase two clone um accessory wise he comes with the blaster rifle here which is a you know it's a flexi soft piece of plastics which we've seen seen a lot of so that will be going in the accessories box i don't really care for that much i don't know why they can't make them in a bit more of a sturdier plastic but um you know the sculpts there the details good no paint work just uh you know flat plastic we get the smaller blaster rifle here which again that sort of real soft plastic it just feels a little bit it's not going to break or anything i guess maybe maybe it's a standardized thing now that you know toy weapons like this have to be sort of soft plastic so kids don't poke their eyes out or whatever i don't know but we'll see. And then we have his helmet, which again, this is sort of the reason why I was sort of not super thrilled about getting them. It's just because of that, that visor. Just none of the samples I saw on cards really, really lined up. Now, I guess if he's putting it on his shelf and he's sending it back, there's probably no, you probably, you know, have to take like an eagle eye look to to sort of see that it's off but I'm just sort of looking at that up close and kind of just sort of see you know the way that's you know it's obviously digitally applied um but yeah it just hasn't lined up with the mold of the helmet and like I said that's it's probably the one thing that sort of really bummed me out about this release and some of the others um in terms of their helmet, it actually, size-wise, it doesn't look bad. Um, I've sort of staved away from getting some of the Phase 2 clones, even like the 501st and the 332nd. I always thought the buckets just looked way too big. Um, so we'll try and get that on him afterwards and see how he looks. So the rest of the figure looks freaking awesome. Like the head sculpt, you know, they've got a lot of head sculpts for the Tim Morrison-looking clone now. Um, given that they've done quite a few different troopers in the Clone Wars, which has been very, very welcome. And yeah, this one definitely looks great. You know, just sort of nice, sort of standard looking, standard looking haircut. Bit of a bit of a flat top going there, which is cool. Yeah, the, uh, obviously the sculpt is a new sculpt, um, whereas a lot of the other Phase 2s have used the sort of older one, which was still reused from the Phase 1 back in the early days of the Vintage Collection. So I'm glad they've actually revisited this 
sort of holding in hand, it's uh, it's it's a big improvement, I've got to say. You know, the Phase 2 clone that just came out in the Black Series was phenomenal. And, um, yeah, excited to see that one get plenty of use in the years to come. But I don't know, I'll tell you what, if they could get that helmet, that visor, just bang on, they would absolutely nail it. Because this is a this is a damn nice looking clone trooper. I've got to say, really, really nice. Let's try and put the helmet on. See how that fits. You know what? That ain't bad. That's a nice fit. That's a nice looking scaled helmet. That's that's a vast improvement. I'm 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 really really happy to have picked this one up now, folks. I honestly I'd, I uh, begrudgingly held off, but uh, I might be picking up some more of these if I spot them in the wild. Now bear with me. I'm just going to grab another clone, and this is what we have been getting for quite a few years now. Now, don't get me wrong, this, this sculpt, this body, it was good for the Phase 1s. But the Phase 2 helmet on there just doesn't look good. You know, that's it's such a bad helmet. So, uh, yeah, this definitely feels outdated now. This one, big, giant bucket. But this, oh, I don't know, this is... We're sitting there looking at this one for a little while, I think. This looks nice. I'm really, really happy with this clone. Don't know if I'm going to try and do something with that with that brow. With that visor. I don't know. I don't want to goof it up, you know. <laughs> it's just a nice, vibrant white. So articulation-wise, it's got the double ball, ball, double joint in the neck full hinge in the shoulders and that sort of shoulder bell there which allows for that movement that's fantastic hinge in the elbows inward hinge there on the wrist up and down hinge on this wrist got the torso joint there the ball socket there in the thighs swivel of the thighs Single hinge in the knee, hinge in the ankles, and that rocker joint too, which is nice. Give it a nice little wide stance. And we'll do the peg test. Not sure how this is going to go. Oh, I think we're in, I think we've got a good one. Yeah. That's not too bad. That'll hold. That'll hold. Get that blaster. You know what? I, I'm rating this clone. I wasn't expecting to, but I am. This looks very, very nice. I'm very happy, very impressed. Just that, just that eye visor on the helmet just bums me out just that little bit. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, folks. Please sound down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I know we are getting a, a new Phase 1 coming up in 2024. Interested to see how that one goes. But for now, I appreciate you all taking in the time to watch and comment and subscribe and all that kind of thing. And we'll see you again very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you, always. Mm -hmm.